this machine for now can only tell the time once, because marbles get stuck all over the machine. And when marbles get stuck on the channels and it starts throwing a new hour, it gets quite difficult to read the time. I mean, it's perfectly clear that it's a film 58 o'clock, but I, I think we can all agree that this is not ideal. But of course, I wouldn't be here if I didn't manage to painfully solve all those issues, right? And yet, I couldn't fix this one. Because I've made so many changes to the design that nothing fits in this one anymore. For example, I made the channels larger so weirdly shaped or larger marbles don't get stuck inside, which in hindsight would have been a, a very smart thing to do from the beginning. But to do that, I had to increase the distance between channels and now all the panels are wider. So I had to reprint all of them. And I even had to make a new frame for them. Everything. I also changed how the panels are attached and made new brackets for everything. And I had to fix a lot of things. These two panels now, instead of meeting here, they meet in the middle of the ramp. So when I stop a marble in here and it has to start again, does it on a ramp and never gets stuck. And I also glued these wires to the straight sections of the channels, because even with the most perfect 3D printed channels and the most round marbles, they, they still got stuck. And these wires are as smooth as you can get them, so the marbles always roll perfectly on them. So, problem solved. And of course, I had to redesign the tray where the marbles are collected. And now all the top surfaces are printed flat on the printers, so there is no way that a marble is going to get stuck in here. I also increased the size of the fins at the end, hoping to reduce the amount of gaps that we get into the elevator. Another thing that, again, in hindsight, makes a lot of sense was to make the straight parts of the channel steeper. So I increased the incline of the two straight sections from 2 to 3 degrees. Lots of sense. <laughs> Makes lots of sense. And all of those changes combined should make the marbles move faster and smoother. But changing so many things has consequences. And as I mentioned before, the channels are now wider and they don't match with the old elevator links anymore. So I had to print a new set. 68 new elevator links. Yes, you and I both are wondering why do I do this to myself. Why do I do this to myself? But not all the changes are for the marbles. I, I need to take care of myself too, so I made the top and bottom idlers larger, and now it's easier to work inside the elevator. Nice. We also need a new controller and a new 16-channel relay board. A new sensor bar with a new infrared LED bar now with more powerful LEDs. I'm introducing a small change and now I read the marble color in here and then once they get up to the channel level I push in the ones that I need and then I reject the ones that I don't need above that. And that's what this weird combo is for. I put this array of solenoids at the bottom that will push the marbles into the channels and then above that I have this comb of flexible pushers that will push the marbles out of the elevator. Hopefully. But this brings an interesting issue. Once the marbles aren't selected by the solenoids and get to the comb, they get ejected and, you know, marbles everywhere. So I need to find a more gentle way to bring the marbles down. Marble parachutes or something. But before we do that, a quick ad from today's video sponsor, Onshape. Onshape is a professional CAD plus PDM system. And what makes it different is that it was built entirely in the cloud and works in a web browser. With Onshape, you can collaborate in real time with others, more or less like you would in Google Docs. 
and every action you make is recorded so you can always revert back to changes you made before. Onshape also has a GitHub inspired method of branching and merging, so if someone in the team has an idea to modify a part of a design, they can create a branch and work on that idea without interrupting the progress of the main design, and later they can merge in that branch if they want. With Onshape, everyone on the team has access to the up-to-date design, so you will always know that you are working on the latest version. And it works almost on any device, PC, Mac, iOS, Android. I highly recommend the engineers and product designers to check out Onshape. You can get started with Onshape for free at onshape.pro slash Ivan Miranda. And now let's get back to the machine. We need a reasonable way of bringing the marbles from here all the way to here, so I made this. This is a spiral toboggan that goes about here. This ramp in here matches the position of the comb, so when the marbles get up here, they fall to the toboggan. And now this makes the clock way louder than before. And it was already really, really loud. This, this looks a lot like a mistake. So loud. Too loud. This is a two for one. This is now the loudest clock I've ever seen in my life. So loud. And with that, I think we have everything we need to make it work, but one thing, this. In the last video, I mentioned that I had two main issues. The first one was that the marbles were getting stuck everywhere, and the second one was that I didn't have enough marbles. And this is it, every single black and white marble that I could find. Let's see how many of these I can use. That's a way of spending a couple of hours, and these are probably half the marbles that I started with, but at least we have lots of marbles now. So let's get them in the machine. And after all this work and rebuilding the entire machine from scratch, we are exactly where we were, but this time marbles don't get stuck and we have enough marbles. So I will try now to make it work like an actual clock, telling the time. It works! I had to try a few too many times because there were still a few bad marbles in there. 
mostly of the not so round kind, so that they were still getting stuck. But now it, it works. Marbles don't get stuck in the channels anymore. Although I, I must confess that I've been helping them by violently shaking the elevator after opening the gates. But thanks to that, we have a functioning marble clock. And even though I consider this project finished, the clock works and tells the time. Many of you, in fact, uh, by the thousands, you have been commenting that it doesn't tell the time by the minute. It takes a while to draw the time, between two and five minutes, depending on how lucky it gets with the marbles. You have been showing this project so much love that I will do one extra video where I try just that. I will try to make it fast enough that it tells the time by the minute. Wish me luck. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members. Thank you. And thank you all for helping me with this amazing project. And now please go and make something!